na mwisho wake hayo yana mwisho uh, mambo hayo ambayo unayaona yana mwisho wake anajulikana kama tumaini hayo yote yana mwisho msikilizaji na kueleza story ambayo ni ya kweli katika neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu uh, Biblia katika kitabu cha Mathayo kwanza eh, kwanza ya nne eh, chapter 4 verse 35 hadi 41 Biblia inazungumzia kuhusiana na story ya Yesu Kristo akiwa kwenye mashua na wanafunzi wake That day when evening came he said to his disciples Let us go over to the other side leaving the crowd behind they took him along just as he was in the boat there were also other boats with with him a furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was it was nearly swamped Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion the disciples woke him and said to him teacher don't you care if we drown Sikia swali ambalo alimuuliza teacher don't you care if we drown he got up rebuked the wind and said to the waves quiet be still then the wind died down and it was completely calm he said to his disciples Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind, the waves obey him. Sikilizaji, wanafunzi wa Yesu walikuwa na uoga ndani yao. Mpaka wakasema, Yesu, yani auoni kwamba tutaweza kuzama. Hauoni kwamba mawimbi hai yanaweza fanya tukazama na tukapotea, tukapotelea mbali. Lakini Yesu anainuka na kutuliza mawimbi. Anastuliza mawimbi. Na hali inapotulia anawauliza wanafunzi wake, "Kwani mbona nyinyi ni waoga hivi? Kwani hamna imani?" Nakumbuka kitabu ambacho tumesoma hii leo. Timotheo wa pili moja saba kwamba Mungu hajatupa roho wa uoga. Sikia leo do not fear about anything. Haijalishi umesikia vitu ngapi. Umesikia siji polisi wameka magans za aina gani? Umesikia siji kabila gani itapiga gani? Sijui ho, sijui nani akspo kwa mamlaka sijui itakuwa vipi. I want you to be courageous knowing this. When we call upon Jesus without fear He's going to do something in Kenya. Na mimi nakuambia kwamba Mungu anaenda kutuliza haya mawimbi ambayo umeyaona kwa muda yamekutetemesha yamekupa uoga. He's going to calm it in Jesus name. Na kama unaamini nami you will should be saying amen. Kama jinsi alivotuliza mawimbi baharini anatuliza mawimbi ya Kenya. Uchumi wa Kenya utaimarika in Jesus name. Good morning. Hello. Namusikia tu kitu ndiko Alan. Daima na milele. Wewe ponti rapo asoi. Mhm. Mm Namshukuru mwenyezi Mungu kunirausha. Yes. Mo kweli Alan, ukiwa na imani kwa Yesu utaweza kupona. Amen. So, hawa mandugu walikuwa na imani wakajua tunapo tetemeko ni marunga hapo tembea kama kwa maji. Mm. Na tuko na Yesu Yesu ataweza kutuponya. Ndio naona kaelelea Yesu. Eh. Yeah. So hivi kama wa Kenya tunapokuwa na wasiwasi yote tunapo mkimbilia mm. Yesu Yesu anatuponya na tutaishi kama wa Kenya atakuwa na wasiwasi yote Katika kila jambo tuweze kumkimbilia Bwana yetu Yesu Kristo kila wakati Hello mtume radio Yes hello Mtume wa Pete Karibu Kwanza acha nishukuru kwa ajili ya neno Mhm Ni mwambie ya kwamba hii neno am- kwa Kiingereza inaitwa sia. Mm. Ni kitu kilicho kibaya ni kwa sababu kulingana mimi vile nimeiweka mm. katika kila umoja F stands for false. Mm. E stands for evidence. S stands to appear. Alafu R real. Yaani false evidence appear to be real. Kwa hiyo tusiokope. Mm. Mungu akupande wetu. Amen. 
hakika hiyo inaenda imekuja kwa wakati ni kwa sababu sauti hakuokopa na alikuwa mtoto mdogo lakini aliua kiri yake ambaye alikuwa feared by all Israel mhm mm kwa hivyo kope Mungu hako upande wetu basi mama huyo kama mke em um, mama Rita amuke mama Samuel amuke na bi wangu mm-hmm. ya amuke ubarikiwe bishop Andon asante mm. fear false evidence appearing real wow ni vitu tu ambavyo vinakaa uongo uongo na vinakaa real unaona ni kama ni ukweli aviwezi fanyika i tell you There's nothing that is going to happen to our country. There's nothing that is going to happen to you. Hakuna kitu kiovu ambacho kitaniletea kwako. Amini Mungu. Hello. Itakuwaje? Ah, fresh fresh bwana. Mheshimiwa Ben Munoko, mbunge wa Radio Mitume. Karibu mheshimiwa. Tuko wazima kabisa. Amen. Tume take cover kila mahali. Mm. Sasa watu wasiwe na uoga sisi ni jeshi la ya Yesu. Ukweli. E, unajua mimi naenda kwa jeshi la hukufu sasa sisi ni jeshi. Mhm. Kwa ujumbe. E, m- wa Kenya mzio waoga pia mjitie moyo msema ati uombe wewe mwenyewe jiombe nyumbani vile mimi naomba hivi. Mm. 